morning YouTube. All right, so I woke up this morning and what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about a salesperson's life and how things are in a salesperson's life and give you a better understanding of who your salesperson is, okay? So you can treat us better because a lot of people, I would dare say the majority of people actually don't know how to treat salespeople. And you have a misconception of who we are and what we do, okay? So I'm gonna break it down to you, all right? I'm gonna cover everything from salespeople such as servers or waiter or waitresses, or waitresses, okay? I'm also gonna cover things that um, you know are mid-level sales, the things that are really high-level sales, things you don't even know are actually sales, okay? So it's actually gonna be a little bit all over the place, as a lot of my videos are, because I uh, wing a lot of my videos, because things are coming off the top of my head, and I think actually that's what makes it, makes it best, because I usually have a lot to say. So sit back, relax, and listen to what I got to say. Now, first of all, salespeople are people just like yourself. They literally have families, have children, have bills and life goals just like anyone else, okay? Keep in mind that this is their job, okay? Now, the majority of these people are the most friendly people you will ever meet in your life. It's not an act. It's not fake. They are the most family-oriented and people-friendly people on the planet. A lot of y'all don't even like the fact that salespeople are friendly. Um, you're mad at your own damn lives, and you're like, what are you so happy about? You know what I mean? It's not even like that. They truly are happy to help you. They're actually salespeople in collections. You didn't know that those people call in your house that are actually nice. There's a lot of salespeople in collections that are ignorant as hell. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the nice ones. Hi, Mr. Jones. We'd like to help you uh, get this debt taken care of. How can we do And you hang up on them, okay? Because you're afraid of confrontation and you can't handle the situation. We hate that. No matter what sales you're in, we're making a call for a reason. And I get it, people. I'm a salesperson, but I'm also a real person. I get sales phone calls too, but I don't hang up on people. I do politely tell them if I am or, or not interested in something. So please, if we give you a call, just treat us nicely. You know what I mean? If it was your job, how would you want to be treated? Would you want people hanging up on you constantly? There's some ignorant people out there saying, well, I wouldn't have a job like that, calling people, harassing people. We're not. It's how we make money. That's why we're nice about it. If we were harassing you, we'd be ignorant about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you want to buy this? Well, fuck you then. You know what I'm saying? But we're not. We're nice about it. So treat these people right. A lot of you think that we're just nine to five drones that get paid minimum wage. We're not. Okay? That's a real huge misconception. A lot of us are on full commission, okay? So that means that if we do not sell you, we don't make any money, okay? We have to treat you better than most 9 to 5 or salary people would have to treat you because our job more depends on it than anything else. It's how we treat you. You know what I mean? If you're going to send us referrals, it's because we treated you well. A 9 to 5 or salary person could actually treat you like shit and still keep their job and they don't give a damn because they're still getting paid the same. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Another misconception is because you think that our job is below you, as if we serve you, we're your servants, and treat us like shit, and you think that we must live in some fucking hole somewhere in the city and just get dressed and come out to work. We don't. There's a ton of us that make way more money than what you make. And I'm talking about all you managers of stores and top executives of certain businesses. We actually make more money than you. Yes. In my job, I'm actually co uh, um, um, actually able to make... Um, low six figures okay depends on what you sell i don't sell a real expensive product but there was a certain point where i decided to see what i could do in my business and i said you know what for three months i'm gonna go really hard let me see what i can do turned out that i if i stayed at that pace i would make 135 for the year and that's nothing to sneeze at because that's a lot more a lot more than most of you could hope to dream of to dream of making so don't treat us like shit and like we're below you because we're not 
okay? Another thing is, um, when we're calling, after we've seen you, say we were an in-home salesperson, okay? When we're an in-home salesperson, we sit with you, we go over things you may want. That's the paint salesman that comes by, that's the closet salesman that comes by, uh, the security system salesman, all these different people that come by your home, okay? As a matter of fact, the ones you go and see and you don't make a decision to buy something, when we call you as a follow-up, that's actually a service to you. We're actually trying to figure out how we can better help you make the decision. You just think we're harassing you. Give me the money. Give me the money. We're not. Also, we're trying to update our files. We literally have files to update. You know what I mean? Like our boss is on our back to say, all right, Mr. and Mrs. Jones didn't buy yesterday. Why not, okay? And if they haven't, how can we help them, you know, to, to be happy with a buying decision? And what do you do? You say, yeah, we'll call you in a couple of days. Oh, we'll call you back, and you never do. Or you call us, and you avoid us, or you hang up on us. What if it was your job, okay? That's all I'm saying, all right? Another thing is, oh yeah, a lot of y'all seem to think that we're, um, we're just after your money. Like we're just, you know, swindling cheats. We're not. That is given to you, that portrayal is given to you by the, the dirty car salesman that you see on TV and stuff like that. I in particular worked in car sales before, okay? Now the particular store I did work in was pretty dirty, all right? But I must say, that was mainly with the management. I dealt with a lot of salespeople that were very honest. Okay, because here's here's the thing. If you're not honest, people pick up on that, you know, and, and when they complain, you can be fired, your business can be shut down. So we're not all, you know, swindlers and cheats. When we sit down in your house, like I said, we've got families, we've got bills to pay, and, and we need to make a living too. So of course we're treating you nice, but don't think behind it he's trying to get me for every penny that he can. Oh yeah, you know what? Let me, let me, let me tackle something right now too. Some of y'all seem to think that um, we can just drop our pants on every price given to you. You know, you, you think like there's some really uh, a super bottom bottom line that we can do. Look, I'm telling you right now, we can't discount everything. A lot of y'all think we can discount everything. And yes, I'm gonna tell you what people are like this. You know, and a lot of people complain that Jewish people are very cheap. I tend to live in an area with a lot of Jewish people. For some reason, I don't see it that much, you know, but I have ran into cheap Jewish people. But the majority of the people that I run into that are very cheap tend to be uh, Chinese people in particular, um, Indians, and... Um, Middle Easterns. Now, I guess it's maybe a cultural thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to want to get the best deal. I'm not. It's a good thing to want to get the best deal. But what I'm saying is, it's what's so funny is, I sell a really, I sell a top-notch product, put it that way. So good, in fact, I really don't have any competitors. I really don't. Some of you think I do, but I don't. And what you do is you're so concerned about getting a deal that you cheat yourself. It's retarded. And what's funny is the same people, for example, some will go with a different company rather than me. I have so many advantages over this other company that you pick. You're literally a moron for picking them because they were $200 cheaper. You literally are a moron. I'm just letting you know. Because... My, what I sell helps save lives, okay? And you're scaling down what can save your life, okay? It's like, say you're gonna skydive, and I've never been skydiving before, and I don't know who the whole parachute buying process, but what if you went to buy a parachute? One was $99 and one was $500. You're jumping out of a fucking plane, okay? Um, which one are you gonna buy? Okay, I doubt you buying the $99 one because you're like, well, what the fuck is this thing missing? Yeah, 
okay? And a lot of these people, they all drive Benzes, okay? They all drive Lexus, you know what I mean? And every high-end car out there, they've got $500,000 houses, and then they want to spend chump change on something that protects their lives. Retarded. Absolutely retarded. So get the whole dollar sign out of your mind and getting the, the most cheapest possible thing. Oh yeah, by the way too, compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. A lot of you think that, for example, when I sold cars, I sold um, Mitsubishis. Now when I sold Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi I believe at the time was ranked number three in reliability or product. Now here's my thing. A lot of you sometimes would come in and I don't get that. Like why would you sacrifice quality, you know, for price? And I get it, some of you are broke, but it's not that much of a difference if something's gonna last you a hundred, two hundred thousand miles more like you got to be rational but that's the thing that gives me another thing money's not rational you know what i mean i get it people you know you're you're emotional with your money because you feel like if um you 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 think you get cheated people are going to make fun of you and you're not going to pay your bills and you know all this other stuff the fact of the matter is y'all just make the right decision. Make sure you compare an apples to apples. If you the product that you are interested in and you're looking at another product that does not have several features, it's not apples to apples. It's not. It's apples to oranges. So just make sure that that's what you're doing. If you're going to compare our product to someone else's, make sure their product has every single thing. Same warranty, same type of parts, same whatever, so you can make a rational decision, okay? Here's another thing that aggravates us to no end. For you people that make returns and um, or just cancel your orders with us because your dumb buddy told you something different, because you're so afraid of what your buddy thinks or tells you, here's the thing, like I said, I sell a top-notch product. Nobody can beat me, okay? And your buddy tells you something. Uh, remember, I got bills to pay, too. First of all, after your buddy tells you, why don't you call us and ask us these questions so that we can confirm or not confirm them with you? Then make your decision. I get it. Your buddy's only out for your best interest. interest. But a lot of times, your buddies and your families are stupid. It's the truth. They don't know what they're talking about. And you just think just because they're your family, they know what they're talking about. How about you go behind what they say, look it up on Google or whatever, and get your answers. And if you don't get them, ask us. Come straight to the horse's mouth. Okay? So make these decisions, and I'm commissioned. All right? So think about this the next time you make a return. Okay? When you make a return or you cancel your order, the money I just got paid, they actually snatch it back out of my next paycheck, all right? So um, when you think you're really getting over and um, getting a cheaper product and then messing yourself over because you didn't know that your product is actually garbage compared to mine, so you just hurt yourself and then you just hurt another person because you took money out of their pocket, food out of their children's mouths, and more bills that they have that can't be paid. See. You know, people are very selfish, but they don't think about the decisions that they make that can, you know, hurt other people. And yes, I know, there's dirty, swindling salespeople out there that hurt people. And yeah, those white collar crimes, those people go to jail for a very long time. So they're being taken care of. Just make sure that these decisions you make, um, think about both parties, okay? Because we do, all right? We want you to be happy with your product, and we also want to continue to make a living, okay?